Now to the coronavirus pandemic, the number of COVID-related deaths across the state rising, along with the number of reported cases across the country. And as 7's Robin Simmons explains, the losses continue to hit South Florida communities hard. Amen. Friends, family, and co-workers gathered outside Cleveland Clinic in West End to show support for Sunrise Police Sergeant Darwin Arroyo, critically ill with COVID-19 and now in need of a lung transplant, a GoFundMe campaign collecting donations. These caregivers in the hospital are stressed to the max. The fight against the pandemic continues across all corners of South Florida. The mayor announcing Monroe County Commissioner Mike Forster died from COVID-19 complications Monday. Forster was vaccinated. The statement reads in part, he showed his love for the Keys environment and people with all of his heart and soul. Rest in peace, my friend. Despite some breakthrough cases of people fully vaccinated, health experts and officials stress the overwhelming majority. An estimated 88% of COVID patients in ICUs are unvaccinated. This is largely becoming a pandemic of the unvaccinated. The U.S. Department of Health and Human Services shows hospitalizations in Florida are something to continue to watch. We are getting a slight decrease in our number of people hospitalized, but we still have an extremely high rate of hospitalizations here. 13,773 people reported in the hospital with COVID Monday, nearly 400 fewer than what was reported Saturday. Just over 3,200 COVID-19 patients in intensive care. The president of the union that represents health care workers at Jackson Memorial Hospital says doctors and nurses are being pushed to the limit. It's the physical stress, the mental stress of every single day and the emotional stress. Families can't be there. They're the one holding the hands of the dying. And you know how torturous it is to see someone who can't breathe dying and you can't do anything for them? Robin Simmons today in Florida. And happening today, the United Teachers of Dade will host a pop-up vaccination site in response to the growing number of deaths within the district. Miami-Dade County Public School employees and residents in Liberty City, Brownsville, and Alapata will be able to get a shot at Lily C. Evans K-8 Center from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m.